Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I am doing uh, some female fragrances today. Hopefully you will watch them and uh, these are some really good fragrances. These are uh, all my uh, girlfriend's bottles. So every single fragrance I'm reviewing, female ones, I'm not buying them. She's buying them. And uh, obviously she obviously wants to buy some of the best ones, some of the nice ones. So I have one YSL fragrance. I have one Narciso, other one is Dolce & Gabbana. Okay, so uh, I think uh, first one, we'll start with YSL. This is one of the more popular fragrances called Manifesto. Uh, this is EDP concentration, 90 ml, big bottle. Really nice packaging, uh, purple color. And the name is in front, up there. The box looks like that. Always check um, your seller, like buy from original because, like original sellers, because these fragrances are faked a lot. So here's a beautiful bottle. I really love this bottle. It's just stunning. It looks like a beautiful woman with a nice dress i don't know why sell have their themes so basically look at that bottle check out that bottle beautiful juice color my t-shirt is green that's why it's looking uh, green at the bottom okay and you can see it's beautiful uh looks like diamonds at the in the middle really really nice unique bottle cap is okay uh the cap is snug fit it clicks i mean not snug fit it clicks light cap compared to the bottle the cap is a little bit cheap quality but it's okay so this is what that looks like so this fragrance reminds me of scandal you know like Jean Paul Gaultier those juice color and it's definitely in that uh, category of uh, sweet gourmand uh, very long-lasting perfumes the ADP concentration actually uh, is ADP concentration so I have this on the paper for some time and this fragrance smells uh, not very unique okay uh, this is a popular perfume definitely because it's sweet sweet fragrances in in short are, are uh, in general they are very popular because women like to wear something sweet something long lasting so let me show you the sprayer this fragrance have some interesting notes though sprayer is very good okay interesting sprayer gives out a lot of juice so you need with these fragrance i would say uh, three sprays would be adequate for half the day okay so definitely beautiful little opening i, I detect some sort of bergamot lemon and mix with that black currant very fruity opening this fragrance does remind me of many other fragrances though, like La Vie Belle, Black Opium, especially La, uh, Black Opium and La Vie Belle is somewhere in between those two. Uh, the fragrance definitely has a twist. The twist is it has kind of like a musky vanilla dry down, so it's more uh, richer in composition. So the thing is that uh, that vanilla and then musk, whatever it's in this, gives me the vibe of milk. And uh, the fragrance, it, it can call it a milky fragrance, okay? I detect some green notes, you know, some uh, nice floral touch to it. But it's mostly what it is. It's a sweet, gourmand, fruity, milky fragrance. So uh, it could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing. Sometimes people might associate like uh, new mothers. They might associate with uh, baby puke, you know, like babies throw up their, uh, you know, like uh, what it call when they throw up, it smells a little bit sour, the milk gone sour. So some people might get that from this but i'm not trying to put this in your head uh, it's not it's just i'm just trying to show both sides of a fragrance positive and negative but i dig this okay i have a fragrance uh, i don't have it near me bond number nine new uh, i love new york for all the black bottle so that one and this one definitely has some similarity this is not as daring as that but this is definitely that uh, you can associate with christmas cookies definitely a dating scenario cold weathers beautiful little perfume a little bit expensive though uh, I think 90 ml will cost you under $100, but it's worth the money because it lasts a long time. So YSL Manifesto, I really like it. I have to try the other flankers, you know, like they have the Eclat or some other flankers. And those would be also interesting. But this one, for what it is, I do not like it over Black Opium. I like Black Opium, Opium more. But this is a modern, very popular perfume. But uh, you smell this kind of fragrance a lot. It's not very unique. Just that milky thing, <laughs> I found a bit unique. So overall, I'll give you like 8 out of 10, solid. Uh, YSL Manifesto EDP 90ml version. Thanks for watching. Time to move on to the next video. See ya. Bye bye.